So today I'm going to be doing a video that I've wanted to do for a little while now and I mentioned that I was going to do it so here we are today. <laughs> um, this is going to be all about the Japanese method of, and I'm not even sure if the Japanese created it, but it's popular here and it's the foaming face net way of cleansing your face. So this is a foaming face net and I actually got this when I did my Japanese beauty drugstore beauty haul which I will link down below for you guys in the description box but it came with a powder cleanser and I was really scared of how to use this. I had no idea. I had seen them but I've never used them. Essentially it just makes your product, whatever it may be, foam like crazy, create this thick foam which I will show you later in the demo tutorial. Um, but yeah, essentially you can just buy these anywhere in Japan, but I'm not sure if you can buy them in America. I would just search Amazon foaming face net from Japan. I'm sure you can find something, but I wanted to show you guys how this works. So that's what this video is going to be all about. I just wanted to film a quick intro, explain to you what this baby is, and I'm going to show you how I use it, but you can use any cleanser I've used. I think like four different cleansers with this, not exfoliating ones, but like cream cleansers or gel cleansers or, yeah, that's probably pretty much it. Oh, powder um, cleansers as well. So this stuff is really good. I mean, this thing is really good. So basically, I'll show you exactly how you use it, but I just wanted to film a little intro and let you know that I've been loving cleansing my face like this. The Japanese believe that the foam will get so thick on your hand that you can just rub the foam and your fingers don't even touch your skin, allowing the microscopic foamular mo molecules, what else, to get in deep inside your pores and really clean your face. So it leaves your face feeling really, really clean and I really like it. It's kind of a messy process, but it's super fun and I definitely feel like I get a really good deep, deep clean. I don't do it every night because it is, like I said, kind of time consuming and messy, but when I do it, I typically do it in the morning, um, just so I have a fresh, squeaky clean face for the rest of the day. And yeah, that's pretty much all of the intro that I wanted to film. I just hit a box next to me, sorry. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the demo, and you guys can see how I use this little foaming face set. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave it down in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to answer them if I don't. It answer them in your demo slash review, and uh, let's go ahead and get into the demo. All right, so here I am at my bathroom sink and I have my foaming net, and the cleanser that I'm gonna be using today is by AHA Plus, and it's just a foam, I mean a cream cleanser that I'm going to turn into a foam. So you wanna start by making sure that your water is nice and warm. You do need warm water. It will not work as well if the water is not warm. So make sure that you get the water nice and warm. And then completely wet your net. It needs to be 100% wet. Um, and then you can go ahead and add your cleanser. The important part is to add the cleanser right into the center part where the netting is doubled up and that's gonna create your most foam. Go ahead and fold the net in half and then use the ends to rub in the center where the cleanser is and you'll start to see a foam. So this takes a little while to create the foam to the thickness desired that I like. So then I go ahead and do that and then I pull the foam out of the net and then I add a little bit more water because the it wasn't wet enough for the foam to enhance, but not too much or else your foam will just kind of melt. So you just wanna keep repeating this step. Like I said, it does take a while, hence why I don't do it every night. Um, so yeah, I just go ahead and scrape the foam off to the side, get any bit more that I can from that cleanser, and then I go ahead and scrape that down and add it to the bit on the side of my hands and then I take one more time and I add all the foam back into the net and really make sure it's the foamiest that it can possibly be um, and repeat the process yet again. It's a long process like I said you guys um, but I really like the results. So once my foam is the consistency of what I would call shaving cream, I am ready to cleanse. So now I just go ahead and take the foam on a dampened face and I just rub it between my fingers, create a dollop, and then rub it into my skin. So this, um, it, like I said, it's very messy, but the hey, your hands touch the foam and the foam is what touches your face. So your hands don't actually touch your face. It's a really cool way um, of cleansing your skin and the Japanese believe that it's 
the most efficient way because the foam is so tiny at this point that it really can get into the pores unlike any other cleanser. I look like I have shaving cream all over my face. But yeah, this is the process of it. It gets in your hair, it gets kind of crazy, but like I said, the results are really good and I think that they speak for themselves. I look like Mrs. Doubtfire when she puts the cream face on. Leave in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, once I'm done with that, after I'm done cleansing, I just wipe away with a microfiber towel and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!